latent variables are variables that we don't measure but we believe they exist now by we believe we exist we can mean different things for example a latent variable could be the the democracy and by democracy we um, refer to a construct that is abstract but there is nothing that we are going to um, we can touch observe or or perceive w with any of the, our senses we can measure different things that make up a tell us about the level of democracy in a country we can observe whether they are free elections we can observe whether the the three powers the legislative the judicial and the executive are independent we can measure whether um, laws are respected different things that we can actually measure and they together compose a global construct which is democracy so in this sense a latent variable we believe that that it exists uh, but it's not something that is out there it's an abstract concept but in other in other respects the latent variable could be something that we believe it exists and it has a physical structure that we cannot currently measure and that could be um, things from physics that w there are some particles that we believe that they exist but we cannot directly measure and or even in, in uh, psychological mechanisms or brain mechanisms that we be we believe they exist but we currently have only indirect measures let's see some examples um, on the left hand side we've got measure variables and in the right hand side the corresponding latent variables so for example we are uh, in the concept of emotion reactivity is a latent variable and the measure variable is let's say item one in a per scale which is a, a scale that measures emotion reactivity now the way people respond to that item um, cannot be the emotion reactivity uh, it is one um, indicator of the emotion reactivity of the individual now emotion reactivity um, is a construct so we believe that uh, that exists that it has to do with the arousal that that um, people have and we um, we can possibly measure it with with uh, some um, techniques um, but we, we we currently don't have a proper measure a physical measure so we, we believe it exists is a mechanism in the organism of people um, but we don't uh, have a proper direct measure at the moment then we use we measure with uh, uh, how people respond to some items in a scale so that's the measure variables but the latent variable is uh, what we are interested in another example is the concept of intelligence that's another latent variable we measure intelligence with different types of IQ tests like the Raven tests and and here the, the, there is a debate can we is intelligence anything different than what the tests measure or it is or is it just a summary of of different tests um, we are not going to enter this debate here but let's assume that intelligence is something else not just how we measure um, but uh, and these same signals could be a way in which the brain works but we we don't have at the moment a, a um, 
an understanding of how the brain works that makes some people more intelligent than others. But we believe that if uh, at, the, at some point we will find that mechanism of how works um, how how uh, works differently in different people, and that will explain what how people uh, respond to uh, different uh, IQ tests. Another example is the latent variable working memory capacity. It, it is an, an abstract concept again, and, and we believe that has some physical uh, implementation in the brain. But at the moment we measure with how, how many words people remember in a specific task, a specific memory task. Um, so and, and we believe that in, in tasks that, that require uh, maintaining information for a period, lo a short period of time, or, or manipulating that information, um, that the ca the capacity to do that, to remember those, has to do with some mechanism that we call at the moment working memory capacity, and that we don't understand very well, but it has to exist to explain differences in 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 the number of words remember in in specific working memory tasks. And this is not an issue in psychology only. For example, in physics, that we may, may think that everything is measured and, 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 and has a, a physical uh, a, a characteristic that we can measure, but that's not the case. For example, we've got the quarks and one of one type of quark is called the charm quark and we cannot actually observe that charm quark but physicists believe it exists because of the way uh, the uh, protons uh, for example could be other other hadrons uh, behave in a hydroglider uh, so the behavior of those protons is the measure variable, but we believe that that behavior um, is explained by the existence of one type of particle called charm quark. So that's the difference between measure variables and latent variables. Measure variables we can measure. We 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 are uh, we use some task and we measure them. Latent variables, latent variables we cannot measure, and it could be because they are they are abstract, uh, or it could be because uh, they they correspond to a physical mechanism, but currently we cannot measure. Here is an example, a typical example in psychology, which is the use of um, scales, inventories. And in which we have items, for example, this is the pair scale in which I, I participate in the development of this scale. Um, for example, item one says, I tend to get happy very easy. Item two, when I'm happy, the feeling stays with me for quite a while. Item three, I experience the feeling of frustration very deeply. Item four, I tend to get disappointed very easily. Item five, I tend to get frustrated very easily. I, item six, when I'm joyful, I tend to feel it uh, very deeply. And participants have to reply to um, those items, uh, um, have to indicate whether that, assess, that as assertion is very unlike them, and that, that will be coded as a one, um, if they are somewhat unlike me, in, in, that's coded as a two, if neither like or unlike me, it's coded as a three, somewhat like me, scored as four, and very like me, scored as five. Okay, so this is, the, this is um, we've got item one, and, um, and we've got some measure. We, we are going to uh, 
participants can be uh, uh, have can have a, anything between one and five. But that's the world we are not interested in. We are not interested in on, on how people respond to a specific item or a number of items in a scale. We believe that the, the combination of those items, of the accumulation of those item, items, is measures something that's beyond that. And that's the um, latent variable. So in this case, we've got a two latent variables that we called emotion reactivity positive and emotion reactivity negative and we make uh, connections between the latent variables and the measure variables so in this case we say that emotion reactivity is uh, what causes the so e differences in emotion reactivity are the, the cause of differences in the response to uh, items one, two, and six, and, and, and differences in, a emotion, in a negative emotional reactivity causes a, uh, variability in the response in items three, four, and five. So it's important here that um, latent variables typically are considered um, that the cause, the behavior in the measure, in some measure variables, but um, in some um, analysis, like a principal component component analysis, you will have this graph in the the arrows go the op in the opposite direction, um, indicating that the items cause the 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 latent variable. So in this sense, um, I'm going to uh, go a bit more deeply in this. We need not to confuse what is a causal model and what's a graphical representation of a statistical model. So, in in the case or in the previous case, the previous slide in which the arrows go from emotional reactivity to the items, that's typically associated with a factor analysis or exploratory factor analysis and confirmatory factor analysis. And this uh, slide here is what typically is the representation of um, principal component analysis. To me, this is not a causal representation. This is just a graphical representation of a statistical model. So in um, exploratory factor analysis, the formulas are, uh, say that, for example, item one can be explained by the latent variable emotion reactivity. In uh, principal component analysis, the equation is different. It says that the component, component one, we call it emotion reactivity positive here, is explained by the uh, a differences in, in in the different items, item one, item two, item six. So to me, this has this also is only a graphical representation of a statistical model. Why am I saying all this? Well, because I don't believe that that the exploratory factor analysis has a causal explanation different than the principal component analysis. And so there are different statistical techniques to do exactly the same. And the causal um, structure of reality is not what is, is indicated in these diagrams. So, just just to, to to clarify that the difference between diagrams that look causal relationships, but they are they just reflect the statistical model, and causal models that are also graphical representations that use variables and arrows, but and they do make a causal claim 
of the relationship between variables.